Highlights from the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in partnership with PwC. In the next 40 years, energy consumption will double. Many parts of the world have too much of a good thing. The world's logistic system of pipelines, transportation, everything needs to adjust to two things. One, uh, the incredible growth in demand that we've seen over the last uh, decade, <laughs> and secondly, the new sources of supply. We are going to invest in electricity in the next 20 years. What has been invested in the world since the beginning of electricity. It's not a case of which energy industry is better. This is the wrong question. The right question is what balance should be optimal. By 2020, we plan to increase liquefied natural gas volumes to 35 or 40 million tonnes, or about 10%. Today, the most important development is definitely in shale gas, which is on everyone's lips. And it has had an impact in changing the energy balance. There's only one reason the U.S. Um, is the home to the shale revolution, is they simply outspent the rest of the world. The nuclear will continue to be an important resource. Uh, it's something that's important in the Russian energy mix. We estimate that the optimal proportion of nuclear energy in the energy balance is 25 to 30 percent. The energy industry as a whole, not only Russia's, is undergoing large-scale modernization. If we compare the gas price in Europe with the gas price in Russia, the Russian price is only a third of Europe's. If we want to improve energy efficiency, we have to have true market prices for energy. Then there'll be a motivation for modernization. If you just focus on the price of energy in the market today, you find that the price is so low that it doesn't give you the opportunity to build any infrastructure in generation. The regulation of tariffs is not incentivizing companies to improve effectiveness. The main question will remain, what role is the government playing? The center of the debate is how you can convince the outside world that that stability and clarity of the regulatory regime is going to be here for a long, long time. First, the greener, the cheapest way of producing energy is to be uh, more efficient in everything we do. Oh yes, there's enough of oil, there's enough of gas, but you can also use it in a more efficient way and get more money out of it. You have to get, uh, as far as possible, public support behind this. Energy costs are rising. They're not simply rising uh, mathematically, they're rising as a, as a political concern. For the future, I'll make a prediction here today that by the end of the 2030s, natural gas will be the number one source of uh, energy in the world, will have overtaken both coal uh, and oil. Highlights from the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in partnership with PwC.